Well, that begs the question, how can I tell if it's spontaneous or non-spontaneous? My cell or battery, electrochemical cell, voltaic cell, same thing. Okay, so if you want a working battery, then flip the one that's higher on the list, which is the more negative ones. If you flip that one round and then add it to the other half cell, your battery will work. It will be spontaneous. Let's look at zinc and iron right at the top there. I should put the zinc on the left and the zinc 2 plus on the right, add them up, that works, spontaneous, plus 0.31 volts. Let's write out another equation. Now, there are a few coppers on the list, so make sure you get the right one. Okay, I'll put little dots next to those two, that one and that one. Did I flip the most negative, flip the higher one? I did. So that one's spontaneous as well. Positive voltage, quarter of a volt. Well, let's try and do one that's non-spontaneous. What that even means, I'm not too sure myself. So I'm gonna flip the one that's lower on the list, the more positive electropotential. That's not gonna work. That battery doesn't work as written. Negative voltage. 0.13 volts. 